So, hello again. A new day, a new project. You see, I have this uh, almost 1000 watts hour panels. And since my uh, grid tie inverter gets burned and I couldn't fix it, now I have a lot of power for my batteries because I'm still using my cameras here and spot lights and some night lights too my Wi-Fi modems and everything around uh, the house uh, night lights and so on they are still using 12 volts from batteries I have uh, like uh, 200, uh, 250 amps of batteries and of course that needs to be charged and I observed I'm using like maybe 600-700 watts uh, of power daily so I was thinking to something how to get rid of the extra power but to have it in the same time you know that's a paradox here uh, first of all you see this panel it's turned almost completely to west so it's catching more sunlight in the afternoon uh, this one too and this one is working in the morning but I did something interesting again uh, if you remember I have a previous video about um, how I transformed this 72 cell panel in uh, two 36 cells panels so now this one here it's almost like two of these even powerful it have like 50 watts more it's 350 watts the total and what I have done here because I was thinking to cloudy days you know cloudy days are pretty problematic sometimes and I don't want to extra charge the PWM charger I'm using now for charging my batteries a cheap one that's true but working great so I was thinking uh, to a light sensor and here we are so this big panel here it's connected to a step down converter and that one that one supplies 12 volts to the electronics inside here and over here we have uh, operational circuit a couple of uh, LEDs a transistor and a relay and what's the story about this everything is command by a light sensor that's the light sensor up here and it's working very very nice and uh, what's the deal with this let's say we have a sunny day and I have a lot of power I don't need that I don't want to supra charge the battery charger you know to supra load or extra load the, the battery charger that one's supposed to have like 250 watts or something so I don't want to ruin with, uh, with a lot of power so but I still need to have these panels doing something useful somehow so that's why I came with this idea as you see now the relay the relay now it's in off position so um, what that means the panel it's out from the load circuit the panel it's in air I may say as soon as the Sun goes down or it's a cloudy day or uh, you know different uh, sunshine degrees the relay is getting on when it's on, that means the panel is going into the charger circuit. And suddenly I have tens of watts available in a cloudy day without doing any, you know, cable connecting and disconnecting and stuff like this. And it's working great. Uh, I may say that even in a cloudy day, I have almost 200 watts of power uh, I found out that in a dark, very cloudy day, rainy day I may say, 
I'm still having at least 10% of the total power. Let's say 1000 watts hour, I, I'm still getting 100 watts hour. So that means I can charge my batteries easily in five, six hours. So that's just an idea. Somehow it's a lucky story to have more power than you need. But sometimes you have to deal with extra power. There are a lot of things here, cables and chargers and so on. And I observed this little PWM chargers. They are not dealing too well with extra powers. So that's the story about uh, this little trick and I hope it's useful for you. And uh, now I have to show you the schematic. It's a very simple schematic. Everything is related to this photoresistor here. It's a photoresistor. You can use anything like a phototransistor or even a piece of a solar cell. Something to something to deal with lights. And uh, then it's a simple operational circuit. This is a very, very old operational circuit. I think it was made in 80s or something anyway it's very very old but it's still working you know i've just found it in in between my uh, old stuffs in my cabinet and i said why not to use it and it's working great of course the the relay uh, it's on 12 volts and uh, you can see that i put the contacts in parallel that's for you know to have a better current in between the contacts. Anyway, it's designed to to run like 15 amps for each contact, so I can deal 30 amps with this relay without problems. This one also helps to to have a, a load to the panels, even if they are not charging anything. So this is good for the panels because it keeps the the cells keeps the the panel working. Initially I had this panel working with the same trick, but I found out that uh, it's okay if it's connected all the time. And this is the little PCB. It's nothing special about, I just used a pre-standard uh, board. And now the schematic is very simple, like I said, 7 for 1 operational circuit. And we have the photoresistor LDR connected to the inverter port of the 741 circuit and then we have a trimmer 10 kilo connected to the non-inverted uh, pin of 741 so now you can adjust the level of lighting and you know the coupling and decoupling the, the relay and then we have a, a follower uh, NPN uh, transistor connecting the relay on and off a diode in parallel with the relay uh, it keeps it safe for transient currents or something anyway everything happens like the uh, connection schematic is showing everything it's it's happening on the minus circuit so you see the the plus is going to the charger straight to the charger and then minus is going by the relay on and off depends of the the sound train it's a very simple schematic and it's a very simple connection but i may say that uh, it can save you cables and can save you chargers and it can save you a lot of power also in uh, in the dark rainy days you can use the panels to a maximum uh, random end hope that uh, it's useful for you and uh, for now just wish you well good luck and be safe bye bye